I am just here to say I am a big fan of having pitas and hummus. Mmm. They are so good. I guess I've been busy lately, I must say. Non-stop doing shoots, working, growing a new business. I've been very crazy. Working on comic stuff. It's always fun. But one thing that really sticks out is just how much it takes to be successful. A lot of people don't realize it. A lot of people don't realize that it takes so much work. And if you want to start from, you know, low to nothing and work your way up and do something big, you really do have to work. I mean, tons of hours a week. I mean, it, you know, it, you wouldn't even you wouldn't even be able to contextualize it because your mind's always running. But the difference with starting your own thing and you know doing big things that way is that you don't really feel like you're working all the time. Sometimes it's a little stressful, but you're enjoying yourself, and that's really cool. And I, I will say I got a bit of inspiration from that because um, that is I got inspiration about what I need to do next when I was staying at someone's house that I met on Airbnb, and he's a very interesting guy, a Duke graduate. And um, his name is Jordan, and I just watched him do work, teaching himself all different types of coding and programming languages. And he was literally taking work and learning it on the fly. And just made me realize, when you embrace the uncertainty that is life, that there's you're going to always have to learn new stuff to keep abreast of everything. You're just always going to have to be ready to problem solve. You just don't care. You just you just go for the issue, and you figure it out along the way. You got to have a keen eye for people that are reliable, and have talent. And as long as you do that and network well, you'll grow really quick. But some people just want to have the steady job. If you want the steady job, you know, you get a highly technical skill. You work at something that's you know mid upper management or something like accounting stuff like that. Yeah, you'll do all right. But if you want to go really big. Which is, you know, my goal is in the, is in the end of, of the uh, road here, the game plan. You gotta always be inspired, you gotta always be passionate, and you just always gotta be looking for a way to solve a problem. You gotta know how to do research, you gotta know how to Google stuff. I mean, even that simple. You just gotta know when you need to ask for help, you need to know when you need to ask questions. A lot of people don't know, don't know how to do that. A lot of people screw up because they're too afraid to admit they don't know what they're doing or they're not sure and ask a question. I'm not afraid. That's, that's what makes me different and annoying to some people sometimes because they're like, oh, why is he always asking questions? But that's how you get answers. That's how you figure stuff out. And if you're not naturally curious, you're not going to get too far. You're not going to get too far as far as, you know, big wealth success. You need to have a natural curiosity. You have got to understand or have a desire to want to figure stuff out, or if you or if it's beyond your ability to understand in a short time, the ability to go and know and find who has a specialized knowledge and communicate to you in a way that makes it usable. And that's becoming rare. That 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 is one advantage right now in the American market that people don't know about. It's because people are so dumbed down at using the English language and they're so dumbed down at doing good communication. I just don't even know what to do. On that note, i got to take a phone call. Take care.